and venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. This was the scene a moment ago as the Bears emerged from their tunnel. Ready for football are they, and ready for football are we as the Bears get set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. What up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? Back again with another video. Alright, man. Going up against the testy bills today. Them testy bills. Still on my uh, <laughs> show defenses that are being ran, that were ran in Madden 21, and how people are trying to run those same defenses in 22. And through this gameplays, you just see them just having a rough time. Thing is. The way Madden was for 21, to me it felt like the game was on rails most of the time. So because the way the game played, people didn't have to think on defense. Somebody tell you online, go ahead and play mad defense, put your uh, safeties in zones. And that's what they're going to do. If you ask them why they're doing it, well, you know, it just works. Because that's what you're supposed to do in Madden. So, but like, you know, 22 to me it feels like <laughs> those training wheels. Got unscrewed and taken off. And now, on defense, you gotta think a little bit. And the thinking part is what people don't like. You just want it just to be easy. Grab one user, run around circles around the middle of the field, call it a day. But now you have to actually play with your teammates and then really like think about what you're doing on defense. So the patch that came out today did not address the, the loss glitch that's going on for ranked games so I'm still using the Bears playbook and also you get a patch that says hey it's been removed I'm not there's no point of me making a video today saying hey let's review the patch because I looked at the patch in terms of gameplay I was right for my last video when I said it, it felt like cover 2 was playing better because they did they patched cover 2 but it's not in the notes it did it on like a server side update so it, it's kind of like you just fix it and tell anybody it was fixed. It's just that when you play the game, you realize, oh, cover two does work. Because the th problem was you could you could bomb cover two and bomb uh, cover two man. Because the safeties, when you snap the ball, they used to like gather towards the middle of the field and they left the sidelines open. But if you try it now, you see that it works. So in this game and the next game, depending on how he played offense, I kind of sprinkled in cover two here and there because I know it works now. So you can you can use it safely. So if you're watching this video. That's the official goal. Go ahead and use cover two. Cover two is fine. But with the patch, I didn't want to make a video about the patch because I don't know. Uh, they kind of nerfed the pancakes <laughs> from people that come out here and those dollar defense or whatever and try to put more than uh, a lot of people in coverage. But the way they did the patches, well. If you are, if you have five guys in coverage, I mean nine guys in coverage, they don't get pancake now. So, all right, they kind of nerfed it a little bit. I was liking it. I was like, no, figure it out. Like, figure out why your guys are getting pancake. Because a lot of people are making videos saying, oh, look all the game's broken. Look all my guys. They told you that was gonna happen. I told you it was a penalty, but nobody watches the developer blogs when they tell you about what, how the game is being made, what they're changing within the game. So people make the videos, <laughs> say, hey, look, I'm being pancaked, and I'm like, hey, man. Stop playing light box on strong uh, on a heavy set. Then your guys will begin flattened. But they kind of nerfed it now, so you might start seeing the return of some dollar defenses. But I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you something at the end of at the next game in this video. That if somebody comes out in a light box, what I did was I just kept him on the field. I'm like, you know what? That's what the defense you want to play. All right, we, we're gonna stick. I'm just gonna go no huddle on this until you realize uh, what the mistake you made. And <laughs> man, I, sometimes I wish I could like like uh, record the game and you can hear some of like the moans and groans of my opponent. But, you know, like oh man, it's terrible. I'm like get out of that defense. Maybe it'll play better if you just get out of that defense. Stop, you know. And you know, back to look at this right here. Why should you could have thrown the ball away? But I, uh, there's some type of logic in the game that needs to be corrected. That shows since my defenders are crowding the quarterback. It thinks <laughs> that's up with the hermit drinking tea. It thinks he's still in the pocket and give him a penalty for it. He could have just thrown it away a while ago, but he wants to play around and got a penalty. So 
I don't feel sorry for him. I was like, hey, man, you should have thrown the ball away. Stop playing around. You're going to take your quarterback and run 40 yards backwards? Like, seriously? You know what I mean? They do unrealistic stuff, and then they complain about the, you know, like, but they don't even play realistic. That's the, that's the part that always drives me crazy. They got all these people that have opinions about Madden, but then when you watch him play, you're just going to laugh because he's like, are you serious? Because they'll play the game like, yeah, it's a video game, true, but can you at least, like, try to let us know that you understand football a little bit? But I, I don't really see that. It's just a bunch of people complaining, and they're all experts. But then when you watch the gameplay, you're like, like, what exactly am I watching? You know, everybody runs the same thing. It's all three receivers to one side of the field, try everybody to one side and throw the ball. As I, and I see, as soon as I see the formation come on there, I already know that that's what they're going to run. Sometimes they support it, throw a little sprinkles here and there. But for the most part, it's like you've seen this offense already. You've seen the offense already, you've seen the defense they're going to call. So when I get on the field, it's like, I already know what you're going to be in, because everybody runs the same stuff. You don't see a variety from a lot of people. There are times where I get into the games and I'm, I'm watching my opponent play. I'm like, oh, wow. This guy's actually making me think a little bit. But for the most part, when I go online to play, I'm seeing the same offense being ran. So when I come on a specific defense, it's because I know what they're going to run. It's just a matter of just stopping it, really. So that's like, that's really mad in a nutshell. And I'm just, I'm just I find it just funny because I'm playing the game and I'm watching them struggle to play defense because they're still using old tactics. That's not working. But, you know, they just continue to keep using it. So. He got a penalty here because now he's starting to calm down. And I think I said this before when I used to stream uh, for last, last Madden. I used to always say people don't read defenses. They just get up, they, they pick a play. That they know that they run all the time. The hell what I'm doing on defense. They're just going to run what they want to run. Without actually stopping to think. But because of the trouble he's been having all game. Although I, I edited the video. He's starting to look at my defense. Trying to see what I'm in. And then play. I'm like well you should have done that a long time ago. You wouldn't be in as much trouble as you are right now. You wouldn't be down 24-0. Because now he's noticed I'm in cover 3. And he's trying to hit this. He's trying, I told you last video. He's trying to hit the, the slot receiver going on the scene. Which is like fine. It's no problem. Right here, I'm just going to just audible down to a man. But he's still going to look like cover three. He's going to snap the ball without even looking and just throw it and almost got picked off. Just without even looking, he almost got picked off. So, and if you guys watch me play a lot of times, especially when I'm streaming, and people sometimes are like, well, why do you take so long to call your plays? He's going to set up his defense. I'm like, I don't care what he sets up on defense. As long as the game allows the stuff to work, then it's like I should be able to run my offense despite how, many, how much time I give him to set up his defense. Like, I really don't care. Because I already have my philosophies of how I want to run plays, and if I'm following my keys on the field, then I should be able to find somebody open. If I can't, then you just improvise after that. Then you go run those streaks. And that's that's thrown blindly without realizing I just, I just audible down for that. Because I thought his tight end, tight end was open. So, same thing with the next guy I'm about to play. He did the same thing. They'll come out, they start playing offense how they want to play their offense, and they realize it's not working. Then they slow the game down and try to think a little bit, which is what wasn't happening last, last uh, the last maybe couple of years. Actually, you know what? Specifically, Madden 21. Because Madden 20 wasn't the same way. When you went to 21, they implemented this stupid man defense. They made man defense so strong that all everybody was doing was just crossing routes all day because that's the only way they could think to get people open. I mean, I don't blame them. The game is designed that way. And I think I say this all a lot, um, a lot too. Uh, playing the people that play to the meta every year, to me, I feel it kind of dumbs, it dumbs down uh, my ability to play the game sometimes because I have to play to the meta, uh, trying to stop these meta plays. And when I play somewhere that I can really play, it's like I have to rethink how I'm playing because I'm so used to playing people that just play a certain way. Like I said earlier, when I get on the play sometimes, I know what they're going to call. I know what they're going to be in. So it can be refreshing and difficult sometimes when you play somebody that's actually playing legit. And you're just like, oh man, I got to I gotta stop what I'm doing and, and <laughs> play for real. Because like this guy right here, he just rotated his safety over to the left. And he just left Goodwin one-on-one over here on the outside. 
I block my running back and so I can buy time and then just give Goodwin the time to beat up beat his matchup. Like they make it so easy sometimes. And these type of opportunities they weren't available last last uh, last Madden because everybody just played man bump and over the top coverage. So the way it is now, you can play over the top, but you're gonna give up underneath stuff. So it's like you know it's two folds. So it's like I said, he took the training wheels off, and people don't like when you take training wheels off because what always works is what they want to always work. Do nobody else think? <laughs> and, I, and I'm watching uh, Playbook GG today because he was streaming. <laughs> one of the things I kept seeing, because uh, he told him, he told his audience to ask questions, and one of the things I just kept seeing popping up was, uh, "What defense do you use to stop this? What defense do you?" Use? I'm like, "Oh my goodness!" Like those type of answers, you can't really give somebody answers to stuff like that, because each game is different. Like you don't know how somebody's gonna play. This is what I mean when I say he's starting to like slow down and call his plays. I, I like, I've edited the videos; so it's a little bit condensed. But he was taking like a lot of time within the shot clock to basically snap the ball because he's trying to figure out what I was in. Because when he starts struggling, there are at least three receivers to the left. What is it going to be besides receivers coming over across the field? You see what I'm saying? It's like you already know what they're going to do. It's so like, it's so, it's so predictable. Everybody does that same thing. You know what I mean? And there's chances I've seen where I was like, wow, this guy could really get some guys open, but I don't see anybody running comebacks. So if they don't run comebacks, why do I have to protect against comebacks? So I just pick plays on my zones that cover routes that I know everybody's going to run, which is all these drags and posts. It's like, like I say the same thing every year. Like my defense is so basic, but it's basic to what I know they're in. You know what I mean? And if I play somebody else that decides to play with a little bit of smarts, then yeah, I'll I'll, I'll change it up a little bit to accommodate what it is they're running. Oh, I kind of almost got there though. So yeah, it's uh, it's Madden is a strange community. That's why I don't listen to people that complain about Madden anymore. It's like, all right, we already know what Madden is. But my, my always thing is, the people that complain the most, you really have to watch them play and then see how they're playing and be like, alright. So is your, like, is your argument really valid though? I'm not defending Madden, I'm just saying like, you know, you gotta look at both sides of the coin. What are you really doing? On a, what do you really do when you play the game? And if you watch them, a lot of times, they're using meta. They, everything's all meta, like, they find the weaknesses within the, the, the game, which is, you know, it's a programmed game. So of course there are weaknesses in it, but are you going to exploit or are you going to play for real? Nope. You tell me what the meta is and that's what I'm using. The hell with football tactics. So, it's what it is, man. There's a lot of kids playing, they got to have fun too. So you have to take that into account. Um, but what I try to do with my gameplay is just to like, just play football at its most basic and fundamental level. And hopefully still come up with wins. <coughs> Just playing people straight up. Although they're gonna use all the cheating tactics, all the everything, whatever you matter, whatever you wanna call it, they're gonna I'm just let them use it. You just find ways to stop it and then you implement your stuff into it. And for the most point, I use the bears every year and I still manage to still win playing regular way. You look at the field, look at what your keys are, read the keys, throw the ball. You're gonna get some right, you're gonna get some wrong. But more chances than not. Look at that blitzing again. I'll show you the defense he's playing, which is mostly what he, it's just a Madden, uh, uh, a staple old Madden defense. After I score, I'm going to show you the play. See that? <laughs> Tell me you haven't seen that defense before online. So. Is that 21-6? Uh, this is where he decided to slow down the game, and I think he was trying to pay attention to what I was calling. <clears throat> right here, I'm trying to flip the cover three and put the blue on the side of the slot receiver so he can at least be able to pick him up faster because sometimes, you know, ESA is a patch things, but you never really know. There you go, same play again.
Roth and Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our shows in the mistake I made on his very next play is I was trying to help out the guy on the left, but I I I, I had somebody over there, but I, I put the Desmond Trafant. I put him on the cloud, so that's why that guy got open. So I'm like, we basically were playing two of the same zones in the same area because I decided to go help him. So that was that was in the computer's fault. That was my fault because I should have known if I was gonna if I if I was gonna go out there, I should have left that blue uh, the blue zone on, on the field. So I gotta eat that one. That was just bad coaching for me. Cause I, I gave him the wrong assignment. All right, but the thing is with this guy, no, I just kept scoring. Like I wasn't even taking one or two plays. I'm in the end zone. It's like I don't know what the what was going on. Next way he was or because of the way he was playing defense, he just kept calling this Mike like three. We decided to switch up finally because our defense, the blitz just wasn't getting to me. There's a screen right here. This guy got away from. And the reason why I play this way is just to show that I don't have to use the Chiefs, I don't have to use the Bucks, the Packers, and I'm I'm playing. Like, you know, there's nothing I'm doing that's like it's groundbreaking. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just the most basic as you can play like the game, and you be surprised like how much wins you get just watching. People really struggle to stop you, and it's like he's just reading the keys and throwing the ball. That's it. This is the part of the most I run with Justin Fields since I, I usually just gunning and just firing left to right. But right here, he's just playing good defense. There's nobody open. So I've kind of been running with him, calling timeouts. <clears throat> this is defense again. Found somebody open because he's in there. Mike Blitz 3 again. So that means the user has to cover the whole center to field themselves because he's sending the blitz. Oh, overthrow. I should have went back to him, <coughs> which is what I try to do here, the tight end. Because this defender peels off on the slot, he's going to peel off the slot receiver and then he falls back and picks this off. This, you know, this is a good play. He left. See, I did. I play to the back of the end with the tight. I thought he was going to stay with the tight end, but he left the tight end open again. I just went back over there. So I thought he was going to stay back there, and I could hit underneath, but he just decided to stay down low, anyways. But I right, turnover and downs. But I mean, I'm just reading my keys on the field, and if I if I read it correctly, yeah, I can make a good play. If I mess it up, I throw a pick like I just did just now. You know, it's just simple stuff. I just can't let him get the ball off. I'm just sending seven people blitzing. And, you know. You should know that. that You see me with everybody on the line. Like, I just blitz you the last down. But he's not, they're, not, they're not counting the line. They're not counting how many people are coming. It's like, they don't read defenses. It's the same look. You snap the ball and everybody holds and I'll throw the ball field. Like, you know, I just sent seven last play. And I set up to send seven again and you don't adjust. You don't block the tight end. You don't block the running back. <laughs> Stuff be like it's hilarious sometimes, man. This is man defense. So I think I sh if you watched the last video, the, the uh, tip I did give out was disguising your defense, playing different sets. But making all of them look the same. See what you see how the safety got over the help over the over the top? That wasn't happening before, so you can exploit streaks on that before. So that's why I was like, oh, okay, it is fixed. He's gonna try that again and you know it's not gonna be a it's not gonna be a good look. Eddie Jackson dropped that pick right there. But that's not gonna happen too often. If he decided to do that again. So I'm in cover two right now. Dumps it down low. He's gonna look at the player and see cover two. And guess what he's gonna try to do now? He's gonna try to go on top. I just switched the man, <laughs> but I made it look like cover two again. And of course, he's gonna force him top because he thinks I'm in cover two. But you know, Jackson's there to help. So you know, it's just disguising your defense. It's like basic. Like my defense is so basic. It's funny. And people just because they're not taking keys, they're not reading it, they're not looking at it. 
that's how they run into trouble. Just I'm just gonna snap the ball, wait for the guy to go across the field and throw it blindly. So here's what I was talking about earlier. They don't pancake you anymore, but since you want to come on a defense like this against a heavy set, watch what the guys do. Like everybody just gets blocked. And you can just keep, I was gonna pass, but I audible down to a run. Just audible right there to a run. And I was like, I'm just gonna keep this defense on the field. You see that? So they don't get pancaked anymore, but they definitely get sealed on the block. They're not gonna shed any blocks. So if you want to come on a defense like this, you're gonna stop the run. This used this used to be uh, a run defense. You know, man, not anymore. Not anymore. You can't have six freaking DBs and safeties on the field or cornerbacks and safeties on the field and expect to stop the run with three lot three freaking tight ends and a lineman. Only got one light guy with a wide receiver and Robinson on the field. Everybody's heavy. <laughs> you see what they're doing to him? So that's you know that's the thing. You're not gonna see the pancakes anymore, but you can still just run crazy all over him. And in my ear, he's going crazy. Like it can't be like this is BS. I'm like, yeah, get off that defense. You should have called the timeout. So they're still playing man 21 defense and it's hurting them. All right, guys, man. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button for me one time. Bang! Until next time, fellas. I'll holla at you, dudes. Later. All right, one.